morning folks what a pretty day miss kitty and cindy might be right cindy says it's four more days till spring and looking at it today it sure looks like it could happen a few days ago <laughs> i didn't think there was any chance it was cold and nasty um just jumped a, a real big herd of elk that's kind of a nice thing to see we haven't had that many around for a while but winter time they all kind of move down and collect in places like this in the sun that uh, I'm up here to get rid of some stinky stuff last fall when uh, we butchered chickens I had a big tub of chicken guts and things to put in there as bait and uh, trapping bait I never did use them and I got a beaver carcass and some stuff so I'm going to uh, set them out with a trail camera on them and see what happens. This road is getting really soft and the snow isn't really deep, but it's deep enough to cause you a lot of problems. It's really icy in places. You have to be really careful. <laughs> she sure loves the snow. She wants me to throw her a stick, but she's having trouble finding one. There, she got one. All right, you worked it for that pretty hard. Ready? <laughs> hey, you goofy dog. One more, and then we're done. Always kind of a sad thing when you get to the end of the trap season. Uh, for most animals, it's still open till April 15th. For wolves, it ends at the end of March, but I'm out of time. I don't have, I got too much to do with work and around the house. Everything collected over the winter, and man, it's an ugly mess. So I'm out of time, so I guess I'm down to trail camera trapping and a little bit of little bit of hunting now and then when I'm able. So anyway, sure is a pretty thing up here. Pretty day, pretty place. Crazy dog. <laughs> That's a heck of a lousy life, ain't it? Boy oh boy. Ready? 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 <laughs> she needs dog snowshoes. That's another thing. I don't know how many of you folks out there snowshoe, but uh, snowshoes and powder snow, they don't work at all. This is perfect for snowshoeing until it gets sloppy enough that it sticks to your snowshoes. But you need just about the kind of snow that you can walk on top without snowshoes, but you break through every third or fourth step. That's perfect for snowshoeing. Anything softer and it's more work with them than it is without them. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this is not a pleasant smell. That's chickens. <laughs> chickens and feathers, feathers, guts, heads, feet, lots of nasty stuff from last fall. This is a beaver. It's been in the freezer for a little while. And uh, I'll bury that. There's a half of a chicken that had something wrong with it. When we butchered it, it had an abscess, so we kept it for bait instead of trying to eat it. But, um, yeah, this is going to draw in all sorts of things. So, I really probably should bring some traps up here and set them, but it's kind of a, I could say I'm out of time. I don't have the time to do it. But also, them bears... 
they're going to be out here pretty soon. I don't know. When they first come out, they eat a lot of grass and stuff. They don't really eat meat, but uh, they will definitely be checking this out if they're out here. So, I don't know. i got mixed feelings if I catch another wolf. Uh, second one's 2000 bucks, But, like I say, time. Time is the enemy here. i got too much to do. Hopefully you can see the shine on this road. It is just solid ice. And it's a long drop over the edge. So, I guess I'm through coming up here for a while. Even with Jeff's four-wheeler. It's uh, getting kind of, kind of unsafe. Wow, what a pretty day.